and microphone is on. I checked, I double checked, it's on. Welcome, one and all, to day six of The Sinking City. Good to see you all again this morning. We had a late night last night. At least, I, w I had a late night last night. We um, streamed Bioshock 2 until the late hours of the evening. It wasn't the wee hours of the morning quite. But we got really far. We almost beat Bioshock 2. I think we're right up at the very end. Which means that next week, on Thursday, after Scotch and Smoke Rings, after the show, uh, we'll probably beat the game, <clears throat> and then we'll move right on into Minerva's Den. Then, after Minerva's Den, we'll move on into Infinite. That's the plan there. But it seems like we're, um, we're coming to the end of many of the games we are streaming. Uh, we've got basically one more episode of Dishonored 2 as well before we move on to Death of the Outsider. But with the Sinking City, I think we've got quite a ways left to go. Uh, I think we're over halfway through the primary plot of this particular game, and now I'm working on side quests. So if you missed our last episode, here's basically what happened. We continued the primary plot, we found uh, another cave underwater where there was a scientist who was apparently prophesied to be uh, the womb or something. Creepy. It had something to do with squids and reproductive something or others. I don't know. Uh, Lovecraftian. <clears throat> Ended up that that wasn't the case and she died somehow. So now uh, we have to figure out what happened to her. But we're taking a break from that and working on the side quests. We finished one, which apparently was the most difficult side quest, so we got that out of the way. And now we're uh, whittling through all of the others and taking advantage of in-game exploits wherever we can to maximize the scrap that we can accumulate. That's the, ha that's the fun we're having today. So without further ado, let's dive into The Sinking City. I disappoint myself, that's the sad thing. Quintalius is in the chat today. Deuteronomus, Ash Malachi, Icky, Neko, uh, Gemma Averlo, <clears throat> I, I always mess up your name, Gemma. Aver, Averlo, I'm sorry. <laughs> Von den Bergen, Slatty Bark Fast, Milliner Richards, good to see you all. Laura Elstad says, Happy birthday. Thank you very much. Yes, it is my birthday. I don't remember how old I am. Starts with a three. The last number I just want to think about because it's such a good number, and it just means I'm wise. So, coffee, that's right. Oh look, game time. <laughs> oh, whoa, why do we, ha why do we got creepy whispering right now? Okay, I need to orient myself. <clears throat> okay, well here we are in the middle of Raid Heights. What side quest am I on? Letters from Oakmont. Oh, that's right. <clears throat> Pardon me. That's right. We had just we had just done the terrible fetus, and I did that horrible pun. We didn't allow the fetus to defeat us. <laughs> okay, I remember now. Thank you all. Your birthday well wishes are extremely kind. I appreciate it. And I can't think of a better way to spend my birthday than here with all of you. So thank you for joining me. Dawson Holiday with a tip. Happy birthday. Thank you so much, Dawson. Okay. Uh, well, great. So that means with, with that one done, we can move on. Oh, we did this one. Let's delete it. The terrible fetus is terrible no more. 
So we could go over here. This one looks closer. Let's go do, which one is this? Voices from the pipes. Let's, it's been a while since we've read this. Let's see if we can find it. Voices from the pipes. I'm afraid of the bathroom and kitchen sink. Each time I want to wash my hands, I tremble in fear. What if they'll talk to me? This began after a vision in Western Reed Heights near the crossing of Eben, Ward, and Baker Streets. I saw a man, naked and covered in blood, in a room without doors or windows. Surrounded by the dark holes of the pipes, he was cutting himself, piece by piece, feeding those copper mouths? Oh, great. Uh, I don't want to do this one. They were whispering with voices so sweet and promising, but full of hunger and hatred. How could he believe them? How? Or could he even escape? And had they noticed me? Texas Peterson says, happy birthday, young man. <laughs> Thank you, Texas Peterson. Don Quinton says, happy birthday. You're now as old as me. Am I? Well, I finally caught up to you, my friend. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go to the telephone booth and shoot on over there. Your average Hollow Knight fan with a tip. Thank you, average Hollow Knight. Fizz Music says it's my birthday as well. Whoa, well, happy birthday to Fizz Music. We're all having a, having a great birthday here on the, on the program today. When are you going to do another Fallout video, says Jeremiah? Probably tomorrow. I've been working and working and working on it all week. I got part one of it done, which I published yesterday. Yesterday was my last Fallout video. Thank you very much. The day before this one. And uh, then I hope to have one for Sunday as well. Okay. Um, I'm doing good. Let's use the shotgun. Okay, so this is the corner. Now we need to find the house. Whoa! Did he just disappear? Creepy guys. All right. Corner of Reed Heights. There it is. See a basement. Welcome, new member, Miko Virtanen. Good to have you here, my friend. What's this game about? Says Fuzzy Wuzzy. Uh, well, this this game is about a guy who used to be on a boat because he was in the navy, and something bad happened, so he's no longer on the boat. And then he has a dream, and the dream is really weird, and he doesn't get it, and it keeps happening. And so he contacts this guy in a yellow suit, who says, hey, you should come to this place where you can't get to by road in America for some reason. And so he gets there by boat, and finds a bunch of half-fish half people, and some monkey people, and starts to see giant squids. Right? Oh, hello. Brett Buzz says, glad I'm off today from work and get to, uh, wish you a happy birthday alive. Don't worry about age, because in a video game, you are whatever you want to be. Oh, thanks. <laughs> that does help. That, that does help. I'm not one step closer to the grave. 
I'm anything I want to be. Because I'm a... Spear pig says knowledge points. Shotgun can hold four, not shoot two. That's what it does. Thank you so much. That clarifies it for me. All right, I won't fear about specking into that. Hello, hold on. Oh, Mr. Bigsley, the pipes, the pipes. Is that, is that Danny boy? The pipes, the pipes are calling. Step to Danny boy, Mr. Bigsley. From Glen to Glen. Although, I think you will, have re will recall that I uh, have expressed concern about the drains in my bathroom numerous times over the last month. Obviously, rattles, clunks, and gurgles are of no concern to you as you are yet to make a single visit despite your assurances. But what about the voices, Mr. Bigsley? Will they be enough to get your wrench in hand? Well, it's too late. No amount of tinkering or nut tightening can take back the offer they've made. How can I refuse? They say all I have to do is come down and join them. They've shown me the way. I don't like or understand it. But they say they've done it before many times. I just need a sharp knife. I will join them piece by piece. And when I'm all gone up here, I will be whole again down there. Whole and glorious. I'm nervous. But they have assured me. That said, you assured me too. No, I have no choice. They have offered immortality, ecstasy, and secrets unbound. But best of all, Mr. Bigsley, the pipes are silent down there. I have been assured. Okay, so this guy. Driven so mad by the sound of his creaky, leaking pipes, begins to hear voices, and he decides to cut himself into pieces and throw his pieces down the pipes one by one. And the last thing he does before he commits suicide, effectively, is write a letter to his landlord to tell him about this. Anonymous tip! Thank you very, very much, anonymous tip. Cool Puma says, One compleano. You mentioned you like Sabaton. Have you heard their new album? I really like their new songs, Devil Dogs and Attack of the Dead Men. Have a great day. Can't watch live today. Well, thanks for stopping by. I do like Sabaton. I haven't seen their new album. I know that, uh, I knew it came out, but I haven't had a chance to listen to it yet. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh. Oh, two hits and I'm done. I should have paid attention to my life. <clears throat> well, that, uh, that uh, knowledge point upgrade would have saved me there. Doggone it, where am I now? I remember going there. Where was I? I had just jumped up here and I found a note in the bathroom. 
them. They came in here. Where did they go? I can't tell from which direction they're coming. It's gotta be top floor. What the blazes? this guy Well, in, in this game, they just pop out of nowhere, so it doesn't even matter. Stealth? No, there's no stealth in this game. There's no such thing. I have no idea where they're at now. I can hear them. All right, so this is where I was. Oh no, all the filth is gone. What? Why did my... Is this the same bathroom? I'm so frustrated. My screen is going crazy. Read the note, Ox. I read the note. Like, I, I already read the note. I mean, it looks like there's a floor below me, too. Is there a basement I can get to? I mean, I bet you that's where they are. I bet you somehow they got stuck down there. What I don't get is why all the filth is gone from the basement. almost makes me feel as if uh, it makes me think that from a game design perspective this level exists twice one is the clean normal version we're exploring now without uh, without the quest and the other is the one with the filth and the monsters that you only see with the quest. Gator Patrol says the note triggers it. Well, that's where the note was. And I've already read it, so...
Oh, Mr. Begsley, the pipes are calling, right? All right, so I'm thinking it. I'm thinking it must be a. Uh, I'm thinking it must have glitched because I died. The monster is still alive, but in like a, an alternate version of this house. It hears me. I can hear it, but we can't find each other because we were practically in two different dimensions. That's what I'm guessing. Ah, uh, did we get it? Yeah, voices from the pipes. And then I got the last mystic tome, Necronomicon, Divermus, Mysterious, Letters from Oakmont. These all have initials. I wonder if we're going to be able to put them together. D, C, C, W, V, R, S, M. Next up. Uh, we can cross this off the map. Looks like either of those. Let's uh, walk this way because we, we don't have a fast travel marker close to this. I guess we'll go down. All right, so let's take Hurricane Road to Purity Road. And then this looks like it's in the wet, strangely enough. There, did you see it disappear? Oh, and it's back. Now the monster's gone. Okay, what was it doing? Uh, Hurricane Road. What's your problem? What's your problem? right through we'll take the boat south huh let's take the boat south don't want to go through that no sir okay inventory let's make my I'm already full oh I because I died I saved my shotgun shells I guess I need to get more room for my battle rifle. That'll be a lot of fun when I can actually use it. Eight rounds, that's just not enough. Oh, I've got seven knowledge points. Oh, okay, let's upgrade my shotgun. Where is it? Over here. Yes, that would have saved me in the last fight. Clean the streets with wider shotgun spread and improved damage. Submachine gun accuracy, I don't even have that yet. Higher proficiency with the battle rifle. Damage 20%. Uh, hone your eye. Gain a chance to deal double damage with the battle rifle. Reload your revolver faster. Okay, well, I got the shotgun. Let's take a look at the figure here. I could probably d do more health. Uh, melee attacks. Melee attacks. Falling from heights. Man-eating eels deal half the damage. Eh, your vitality. I should probably get vitality. Uh, let's do vitality. I know I need it. 
Quest rewards. Remaining sane. I'm doing good on my skill tree. Uh, all right, let's go into the battle rifle. Battle rifle upgraded, and we'll go down Nimble Fingers now. I probably should have uh, specced my character a, a while ago. I kind of held on to those points for a while, didn't I? I wish there was a camera mode in this game, like in uh, Fallout 76 and Metro Exodus. Every now and then I'll see something that I want to take a picture of, but the user interface just gets in the way. And then up, up Oak Street, uh, Oak Street. Is he vomiting? No, he's just coughing. Here I am. Which one was this? Mirrors, mirrors. I'm afraid someone stalks me. It started when I was visited when I visited Western Advent and had a vision at the intersection of Purity Road and Oak Street. I saw mirrors full of reflections and someone trapped trying in vain to escape. His expression of fear and panic shook me deeply. After that a very tall and skinny man started following me in the distance. What troubles me is that I see him in the reflections, but have never caught a straight view of this stalker. I'm sure the police will mock me if I come asking for protection. Seems it's time to buy a good, trustworthy gun and start to practice. Devilers Human says, keep up the great work, Ox. Thank you, Devilers. All right, well, here we are. This is the intersection where they saw the skinny guy. There's the other side of that wall that we avoided by taking the water. So... Look for a door. Nope, we're getting too far into it now. Let's try the other one. It is. I mean, I say there's no stealth in the game. I still crouch down. this again. I'll try traps this time. Oh my gosh, it puts me all the way over here? Oh, that's not too bad. Oh, 
Hopefully it didn't completely ruin it. Like last time. Well, I got my trap. Did it get both of my traps? Oh, hey, what's that? All right, I got one more trap down there. Battle rifle for the win! Yeah! I love the battle rifle! <laughs> I love this thing! Alright. Well, that was scary. Get out now, the mirror says, and then these things spawn. Whatever these things are. Oh. MG. The man in the mirror. He's gone. Ever since this infernal flood began, I kept seeing him in the mirror, the man who stole my reflection. He wore my skin like a suit, but there was nothing human beneath it. He knew I was on the other side and was looking straight at me. I covered every mirror in, the, in my house, but in vain. I could still see him in the window panes, in every puddle, even in other people's eyes. The neighbors started to look at me strangely. I couldn't sleep. I saw his face in nightmares, and when I woke up, I heard whispers coming from the looking glass. But now he's gone. I uncovered the mirror to smash it to pieces, and he's gone. There's nothing in the reflection at all. But I feel like I'm not alone. Well, let's look in the mirror. Nothing. Doggone it. Tripped my own trap. I 
think that's it. All right. All right, I'm low on gunpowder now. Shoot. Let me check those containers again. Uh, where, where are they? I think the one was in the hallway. There. Coil springs. Oh, that's right. I need to make more. Ooh, my trap. Okay. Now we can mark that one off. Let's see, we need to go, well, we can go south of the shells, take the boat right there. Uh, we need to turn around. I think this is one of my favorite parts of the game. Just scooting around in the Cyclops too. In the flooded streets of the sinking city. Uh, okay, let's go down here to Brown Street. Okay, which one are we on? Call of the Ocean. Tonight, the air forced me to leave the hotel. The putrid smell of rotting seaweed and fish made it hard to breathe. I remembered a huge apple tree and thought it made me nicer there. Moreover, I was afraid that the hotel owner would see my seizures. The visions occurred when I was a few blocks from the apple tree walking East Brown Street in Central Shells. I felt like I was drowning. I ran forward and when I passed the street of St. Michael's Church, I felt the water surround me, pressing, calling. I needed all my will to fight the desire, the desire to go to the mayor and sink to its depths. Oh dear. Uh, Mr. Andy Conradson says, Hey, Ox, I love your series of, but about Fallout 4 videos. You are my biggest fan on my life. This is not a joke, friend. I will love you. I will, I will love, love you, our Fallout video. Well, um, Mr. Andy Conrad Zinn, uh, thank you. I am very glad to be the biggest fan of your life, or for you to be the, the biggest fan in my life. I don't even know. I'm your fan, too. Could be either way. But I'm so glad that you love my Fallout videos and that you came to the program today. Thank you. Now... Let's see if we can find what this guy was talking about. He said St. Michael's Road in East Brown Street. But I suppose it could be either side of East Brown Street. 
Can we disembark over there? We can. All right, so let's look at this side first. Why can't I put four shots in? Did did it not save my specking? It didn't. Well, let's, uh, let's save. Mr. Andy Conradson with thumbs up. Thank you, good sir. Boober says you need to call your boat the Oxtercopter. Is that what I need to call it? The Oxtercopter? reason stealth is worthless in this game is because enemies just do that. Jeez. Did you see that? He would go into the ground and up and pop up behind me. I got a knowledge point out of it. <laughs> okay. Well, let's get that uh, gunslinger. Yeah. <gasps> Well, that was expensive. Let's use up all of our scrap. That cordite, man. Having to spend cordite on one bullet is insane. And it's not giving me the ammunition I want either. Every single house I go to, they've got revolver cartridges uh, sitting out, but no shotgun shells. No battle rifle ammunition. Okay. Guess I need to go upstairs.
Oh! Oh my god now. Okay, something bad's gonna happen. Let me heal up. Battle rifle. KL, my cherished flock. K, I believe, has forsaken us. Assuming, of course, any such being existed. Are we to die frightened? Are we to die mad? Death would be merciful indeed in the face of this second flood. There will be no rainbow to blossom over our corpses. The sea beckons to me in a way scripture never has, as she has always done since beasts who would be men oozed from her briny womb. Oh, well, they say that there are unique sentences out there. That, that I think, is one of them. I will go seek her soon and draw her salt-laden baptismal breath into my own lungs. May she forgive us for our hubris, your shepherd, Shepherd Reverend Zachariah James Baker. Well, uh, he went to the sea, but it looks like the sea came to him as well. <laughs> okay. Not sure how that happened. Cordite. Okay. Trying to stay topped up, but man, it's hard. Oh, that's a light. For those just joining, uh, I'm doing side quests in this game right now. This is not the primary quest, which is why we don't see talking faces or much narration. All of these are short little side quests that we're doing. And now that I've done that one, I can mark it off my map. All right, what's next? It's pretty far away. Well, they're all pretty far away. Looks like that's the closest one, Forlorn Woman. Let's run to the nearest telephone. David Norrell says important safety tip. At this point, you need to heal up. I've got a little bit. I'm, I'm a little wounded, but I'm mostly not wounded. It's kind of like being dead but only mostly dead. Found a brick. Oh yeah. I can throw bricks. <coughs> Ooh, you, you keep your distance. <laughs> and if I intervene, the cops get mad at me, right? I can't do anything. Yay, I got another brick. Okay, let's go. 
Well, golly! I might as well walk there from here. All right, let's do that. Your vote is your choice. Choose wisely. Down Moreland Road and then a sharp right onto Old Church Road. Burbank's ice cream and soda. The vestiges of a happier time. <laughs> Laura says, Zoxhorn mostly dead. Buddy, what you got out there to live for? <laughs> Princess Bride. That's right. to blaze okay um forlorn woman what is forlorn woman this city no matter how badly the flood damaged it has an unnatural appeal i can't stop myself from walking even if it means being struck by further visions I went to the eastern part of the Salvation Harbor, near the crossing of Fitz O'Callaghan Street and Old Church Road. It came. The feeling of loneliness and fear was immense. I was a woman, locked in a room, infected and slowly rotting. My body turned into something. It itched badly, and my face... I had to hold the skin with both hands to prevent it from growing until I suffocated. I ended up sitting on the road crying until some innsmouther kicked me and ordered me away. A natural appeal. This city. Okay, let's see if we can find the forlorn woman with her bloated face and... Oh, there. Well, I don't see the other symbol. There it is. Okay. David, you really want to make sure that I've got good health, don't you? Fine, 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 fine. Are you happy? I am now at full health. And there's no quick save in the game. Yep, lots of pistol rounds, but... Oh, no, that's a tranquilizer. Well, I haven't been using much of that, have I? Okay, downstairs. Or... gonna stop in the middle of combat and create more shotgun shells. All these noises. Gonna get cornered in this doggone basement. 
I'm gonna get cornered in this doggone basement. He broke out of it! <laughs> I didn't think he could do that! Didn't even get hit. And I'm full up. Okay. Wow, there's a good locker in this room. That's the locker that keeps on giving. EK. Hi, Dad. The back room's window was broken when I woke from my nap, so I'm gonna go look for Mom. Because doors were just too hard. She can't have gotten too far yet. I'm sure she'll listen to me when I find her. Sometimes when I take her food to her, when I take her food to her, she looks at me weird like she remembers me. Sometimes she even reaches out through the slot and tries to grab my hand. But I do what you said, and I stand behind the white line and push the tray with the stick, and then she cries. I really hope she'll get better soon. Don't worry, Dad. I'll find her and bring her home. I love you, Rachel. Oh, that's awful. What? Where's the white line? Must be in there. No? Huh. Let's see if we can get more from the one down here.
Nope, let's go at the top. Actually, hold on. Nope. Oh! They wanted me to follow my dad. Actually, I think I can make that. Bingo. Alright. Forlorn woman. Indeed. What's the next one? Oh, right here. Innsmouther notes. And it's right in the middle of a... of an infested area. In there. Innsmouther notes. Let's see if we can find it. The local Innsmouthers scare me a lot. I've never seen a place with so many ill people. Their faces pursue me even in visions. Recently, I was in the northern part of Grimhaven Bay walking down Whisper Spring. Uh, street. I barely made it to Hubert Avenue when the visions came. I stood among many Innsmouthers, disguised as one of them, and listened. Their leader read the story of a captain participating in pagan rites, copulating with savage witches and beasts, bringing sacrifices. I still remember his name, Obed. Okay. Let's save, huh? Nantucket. Whisper. Crying out loud. There was a lot in that briefcase. <laughs> there was a heck of a lot in that briefcase. Mr. Andy Comrades in says, Hey, Ox, how can I be a good YouTuber like you? I have 260 followers on my CL, but I love what I do for I'm making car meets videos in GTA 5. Uh, if you love what you do, then that's all that really matters. I mean, I, I take that back. You got to make money so that you can eat. That's important. So I hear you. But uh, as long as you're doing what you love on YouTube, the people will come. 
If they see that you're having fun... They will have fun too. They'll have fun through you. <sighs> Man, this has been, uh... There it is. It was on the other side of this blasted barrier. <sighs> Alright, let's, uh... Craft more ammunition. <laughs> uh, 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 about a gunpowder, no! Let's check that briefcase again. Ooh. Oh, yes. Let's check that briefcase again. Where's that briefcase? Give me all the loot. I want it all. And I want it now. Gosh, those guys are just slippery little buggers. Where am I? <laughs> I'm at the top floor of something awful. <gasps> okay, full health. Doing good on ammo. Doing okay on ammo. What am I here fo for? I need to find a letter. Just random ambient sound effect. Mr. Andy Conradson says, Ox, how can I be a member for I love you, our video? Um... There's a, uh, a membership button just right on my channel homepage. So I think you might have to open up my channel homepage. You can subscribe. You can click the bell notification button. And then I think you can become a member as well. Um, and that'll allow you to watch my videos with no ads. Cool, cool, cool for everybody. Oh, man. Oh, no. I'm out of gunpowder. Yeah, shotgun shells. Oh. Yes, gunpowder. Ox, how do you have such a beautiful beard, says Aiden. I tried to grow mine out, but it just looks like an old torn up ball of steel wool. Oh, oh, oh my friend. <laughs> well, I don't know how old you are, but um, it could do with your age. So it's primarily genetic. Some people just have the genetics for it. Other people don't. But depending on your genetics and depending on your age, you can optimize your beard growth by being fit and healthy, which I know is a contradiction because I'm neither of those two things. But if you're fit and healthy, uh, you're going to have a better blood flow, and the most important thing for a good, strong, healthy-looking beard is blood flow to the follicle so that it gets all of the nutrients it needs to grow strong. So, um, being healthy, being fit. 
Exercise in a bit. Get that optimized blood flow to the follicles. Okay, what am I missing here? Supposed to be a note, right? Or did I wander into the wrong house? In Smother Notes. Northern Grimhaven Bay at the corner of Hubert Avenue and Whisper Street. Hubert Avenue, Whisper Street. It's right where I'm at. Not to be mean, but do you exercise? Asks Moritz. I, I don't. It's something I want to do. It's something I know I need to do. And it's something I'm, I'm actually trying to take steps to rectify. I bought an exercise machine. And I set it up in my basement. Um, now I need to get... <laughs> now I need to have the self-discipline enough to find time to exercise. And I haven't done that yet. But it's on my agenda. It's on my long list of things to do. I'll take care of it, you know. I'm only 39. I've got, you know, years left, I'm sure. So, I've got time. Right! Uh, maybe it's outside. If so, I shouldn't have come in here. Oh, dear. I'm running, running low on ammo now. Well, there's Whisper Street. Is it over here? <clears throat> but it had the symbol on the wall. No, that's it. That's a dead end. Oh, come on!
Rick! I'm completely out of ammo now. Man, they're like squid. <laughs> they keep these clouds of black ink. Salata Bartfest says upstairs behind the desk, scan the brick wall. Okay, thank you. But while I'm here, might as well look for loot. And I'm back to square one. Look at that. I've only got battle rifle ammo left. Okay, uh, upstairs. Come on. This is just insane. I'm wasting so much ammo because they just vanish when I get too far away. Mr. Andy says, hey, Ox friend, what are you uh, from and do you have CR? I'm from Seattle, Washington, and I don't know what CR is. Do you have a good car you love? Oh, a car. Um, I'm not big into cars. I mean, I watch a little Top Gear and I watch um, the Grand Tour, and that's about as far as I go t with cars. Um, so I, I don't have a favorite car, but, uh, I have a healthy appreciation for cars. Okay, scan brick wall. Behind desk. Oh, come on, man. I'm not going to be able to finish the quest unless I find this one.
Now this place is gonna respawn if I leave again. No, that's rust. Mr. Andy says, do you like the Fast and the Furious like do on Sirius? Uh, I'm not a big fan of the Fast and Furious. I think I watched uh, the first one years ago when it first came out, and it was okay. But I, uh, I never really got into that particular series. In terms of cars, I, I only own one. I only have one car, and it's a minivan because I'm a dad. And I have kids, and we take them to school. So, yeah. All right, this is just starting to make me angry now. I think we found a broken quest. It's my only explanation. Corner of Whisper Street, Street and Hubert Avenue, right? Walking down Whisper Street. I barely made it to Hubert Avenue. But he did make it, right? He barely made it, but he still made it. Maybe he meant to write, I hadn't made it yet to Hubert Avenue. Well, maybe we're on the wrong spot, but this does have the quest marker on the side of the ball. Is it on the box? No. I mean, look. There, right? There's the quest marker, right there. That tells me that it should be here. Let's go up Whisper Street, I guess. Lucky Babcack says, uh, hey, Alex, just letting you know, you always have great moderators in the chat. I know. I'm really, really pleased with the moderators we have here. Brian and Ash and Plarby, they always do a great job. Okay, well here we are on Whisper Street, or Hubert Avenue. Oh no. Oh, I've got them reversed. I was walking down Whisper Street, and I barely made it to Hubert Avenue. I was walking down Whisper Street, and I barely, barely made it to Hubert Avenue. Okay, so that could be... 
That could be over here. Or over here. Okay, I think I might have had it wrong then. Mr. Andy says, what van do you have, Ox? Do you like burgers? Yes, I love burgers. They're great. And I have a Honda um, van. I forget what it's called. It's a, it's a <coughs> Honda van. All right, this is a dead end. Can I get up over here? They're all going to spawn on me now, aren't they? Oh, but there's nothing over here. This is Whisper Street. Walking down Whisper barely made it to Hubert. Check all of the houses, Ox. That's the only house on Whisper Street. That's a dead end. This one you can't enter. That one actually has the quest marker. And then this is the rest of, uh, yeah, look, no more doors. Maybe it's over here. I haven't been over here. I jump up there? No. Nope. Mr. Andy says, Honda Power, Ox, love you. Are serious, my biggest fan. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Andy. Yep, that's it. All right, so it's a glitch. The item we need must not spawn. All right, so we'll leave that map marker on, I guess, and go to the next one, even though this means that we're not going to be able to finish the quest. Miko says, look for a door with a light above. I mean, I don't know how many times I can explore this. I've done that. Uh, the door with the light above is over here. Right? And we were just there. There's another door with the light above it. Over here. And we can't enter.
Mr. Andy says, have a good night, Ox. Love what you do for us. Happy. Thank you, Mr. Andy. Have a good night, my friend. Okay, let's go to the telephone booth. And we'll move to the next one. Oh, we're right outside the Devil's Reef. Let's go up, see if there's anything here. Gemma says, love Yox. I've been saving to give you a big tip. Don't worry about my name. It's like Amarillo, but with a V. Gemma Avarillo. All right, thank you, Gemma. That's a wonderful tip that's extremely kind. Thank you so much. Nothing new on the billboard. No new scrap. Nothing new on the table, no new outfits. I already know that. All right, let's go back down. <laughs> Firefox says, have you checked every house? Yeah, so the only houses you can enter have that symbol on the door. And I did check every house and only that house had a symbol on the door. Uh, all right, let's head up here. Lullaby Crossroad. John says to find the letter, you need to go down to the cellars. After entering the next room, use the mind's eye on the right wall near the corner. You'll find a hidden passageway. Okay, I'll try it again, but I, I mean, you were all there with me. I inspected every single wall. I used mind's eye on every single wall. All right, Lullaby Crossroad. Lullaby Crossroad. Today, I fell asleep on the street. I'm sure it's connected to my vision somehow because I felt the same nausea and headache as before the strike. they strike. It happened in Coverside near the corner of Tanner Street and Old Church Road. I felt dizzy and my mouth was full of a bittersweet taste. I saw a woman with kind eyes giving me a drink and whispering something. Immediately after that, I fell asleep and spent nearly half the day lying in the dirt like a hobo. It's a miracle no one stole, any stole anything from me. Lullaby Crossroads, eh? Is it going to be on the other side of that barricade?
Western Coverside corner of Tanner Street and Old Church Road. I mean, that's going to be here. Well, I'm no longer on the corner. I have now moved to Tanner Street and Walnut. So it's not gonna be down here. I don't wanna waste any more resources. Church Road. This is that corner. You pass the house that had a small symbol on the side of the irons? So the house had, so it's gotta be on the door, right? I've looted the trash cans and the crates. I'm looking for a door that has the symbol. It's not down here. <laughs> Mr. Andy says, Hey, Ox, my beat on life, love. What you do before I say night, you are the best for life on my life will be for life. This is not a joke, friend. You are the best on YouTube to me for serious fallout power. Thank you, Mr. Andy. That's extremely kind.
Don't mind me. You two go about your business. Did he, what? <laughs> Did he shoot him and his body disappeared? It happened in Coverside, near the corner of Tanner Street and Old Church Road. Coverside. Tanner Street, Old Church Road. So I'm not going to go down Beacon Street. I'm not going to go down Check Road. I'm going to go down Old Church Road and Tanner Street. It's on one of those, on the corner. All right, I'll follow it to the end. That's it. Go down the other side. What's your problem? Nothing. Okay, and that's Tanner Street. I mean, this is the corner of Tanner Street and Old Church Road. But as you can see, the doors don't work and there's no markings on the wall. This is the corner right there. It's gotta be down here somewhere, I guess. Got a knowledge point. Traps hold enemies in place for longer. Better traps. Carry one more first aid kit and anti-psychotic. 
Carry one more grenade or firebomb. All right, let's do carry. And then save. Was that steam coming out your ears, Oxhorn, says Melina? Yeah, pretty much. And Jacob with a tip. Thank you, Jacob. I mean, I know it's a side quest, but did they just think no one would try to do it? Or did they just not finish it? Man, this is where you go for scrap, holy cow. Cellar door, can't enter it. Cellar door, can't enter it. Door, can't enter it. Door, can't enter it. Mr. Andy says, hey, Ox, for be a good friend, will you be good to see my YouTube car, CL, so you can see what I do for time? I will feel good about this. You make my day, Ox. Uh, thank you, Andy. I'm in the middle of a live stream right now, um, but, uh, uh, but you're welcome to leave me a link to your channel so that uh, I and the viewers can uh, view it later if you want. Nothing, nothing. Thank <laughs> you. 
Uh, Jacob says, you make me happy when I'm sad. I watch your vids. Thank you, Jacob. I'm glad I'm able to help. J.A. Bristol says, why did you decide not to combine the Adams Air Force Base and mobile air crawler into a single hour long video? Uh, because my Adams Air Force Base was already almost an hour long. Had I added the mobile space uh, base crawler, it would have been like an hour and 40 minutes long. Not to mention that the mobile base crawler is the end of the Broken Steel DLC. So I would have had to include all of the different ending variations for Broken Steel and their ramifications. No, it just made much more sense to do it this way. Right, well, that's officially... Oh! That has a symbol on it. Wait a minute, have I been there before? That has the symbol on it. But that's way far away from the corner of Tanner Street and Old Church Road. I feel like I've been there before though. But then again, every building looks the same. They've got like five different sets that they reuse over and over and over again. It's worth a shot. Rob says, just dropped in to say, hi Ox, grab a babysitter and take the wife out on me. Take it easy, my friend, says Rob. Wow. That's extremely kind, Rob. That's a very generous step. Will do. Will do. But for now, we've got to continue with the live stream. Mr. Andy says, this is my YouTube channel. Mr. Andy Conradson Vivo. All right. Thank you, Mr. Andy. Okay, does that sound anything like what we got? I fell asleep in the street. Nausea and headache, dizzy, mouthful of bittersweet taste. Immediately after I fell asleep, I spent nearly half the day lying in the dirt as a hobo. Could this be what we are looking for? If so, I'm gonna be relieved and very mad at the same time. I guess I can't leap over there. Glad to bark fast says, Ox, go back to the crossroads. Go along the south of the park. White door with the light above it. All right. If that's, this ends up not being it, I feel like I've been here. I mean, I think this is it, guys. did I get? <laughs> I don't even know. It didn't cross that off.
I have no idea what I just found. But it doesn't appear to be related to the case I'm on. Okay. No idea what that was. And hey, what's this? It's part of the same house. No, there's a there's a briefcase in there. Oh man, this game. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, the boards are back. The boards are back. How do I get over there? Did it just spawn on the wrong side or something? And there's a basement, but I can't get there. And then this is where I found that magic thing. Oh, and now the table's gone. The table's gone. It's gone. You see that? It was right there. It had cards and a gun on it. The table's now gone. What is this game, man? All right. Um. Sla uh, Slarky Bart Fast says, go back to the crossroads, go along the south of the park, white door with the light above it. Okay, back to the crossroads. South of the park. All right, crossroads, park, south, with white light above it. How 
am I that blind? I w you watched me go up every street, and I looked at every single... How did I miss this? <laughs> Thank you, Slurty Bart Fast. Oh. Okay. <laughs> So I still don't know what it is we actually found. If this is the quest, what did we find? It wasn't part of any quest I, I had, and yet there was something on the table that we got, and then after we looted it, the table disappeared. What did we find? Did I break my game by advancing ahead of time or something? Oh god, I hope not. I think they got all my traps. Getting old after all, says Laura. Kidding! Thanks, Laura. <laughs> oh, man. Gray. I'm gonna get turn to gray. Alright, what are we looking for here? Mr. Andy says, hey, Ox, why not camping to Denmark so I can have time? While you, I will feel so good. Much to see you on Will Life so I can have good time. Why am I biggest fan? Um, Denmark sounds like a wonderful place to visit. I haven't, I've been to the Netherlands. I don't believe I've ever been to Denmark. But uh, there's a lot of Scandinavia in particular that I've been wanting to visit. But uh, I uh, haven't had an opportunity. I've uh, got a lot of work here um, before I make any trips. Someday, you know, I want to start doing conventions again. I used to do conventions all the time back when I did World of Warcraft stuff. But it's been a long time. And um, it's something that I'd like to start doing again someday. Maybe I'll do QuakeCon next year or something. But that's probably all the time I'll have for travel. 
Patrick says, thank you for all the lore. I run a local volunteer program doing Dungeons and Dragons. Fallout in your lore is amazing. Keep it up. Thank you very much and good for you for, uh, for doing your volunteer program. Dungeons and Dragons can spark the creativity. Oh, hey. Uh, can we close his eyes? No? Uh, just leave him to the flies? Right. That's what we'll do. As soon as I loot that, the place is going to erupt. I know it. Let's seal up. <sighs> battle rifle? Maybe battle rifle. All right. Is that another corpse? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well. BG. The recipe was left to me by my grandmother, and when Lily was little, I used it quite often. A couple of drops in her milk, and she slept sweetly all night. My husband and I finally had a little time for each other. Of course, that was a long, uh, long ago, and since then I haven't needed Grandma's sleeping elixir. But now everything's changed. It was two days ago that Bill barricaded the windows because we couldn't bear to see the corpses in the street. We're locked in and we're out of food. The worst are the nights. Impossible to sleep because of the squeals of death and other terrible sounds, we should flee, but there's no place to go. I'm afraid, as fate draws near, that we'll end up like the bakers. I do not want this for my little Lily. While my husband barred the entrance, I made my grandmother's tea. Lily drank her dose and went to bed, and Bill's getting faint too. It's time to join them. Good night, o Oakmont. Okay, so she poisoned her family. Are we going to see a dead baby? I don't want to see a dead baby. Why would they do this? Ugh. Do I want to explore the rest of this place? All right. If I see a crib, I'm turning around. I'm just not going to go. I think they might have spared us that horror. All right, can I craft any more? What was the actual case note that we got, though? I saw a woman with kind eyes giving me a drink and whispering something. So was that the woman? I guess I don't understand how this note connects. So did this woman with kind eyes poison some random hobo in the street? Okay, well, it looks like after looting that uh, note, nothing respawned. So we don't have to worry about that. Whew. And then there was a basement. Did I go down to the basement? Well, let's just be thorough. Let's be thorough and double check. Hey, and I got a foot trap. All right. Okay. We can thankfully at long last mark that one off. So here's the thing that's frustrating me though, right? It said the corner of Tanner and Old Church, but it's not. It's on Beacon Street by the corner of Old Church and Chackard or Chack Road. It's not on the corner of Tanner Street and Old Church. All right. Um, a viewer told me that I missed an, a, an invisible wall back at this one. Okay. So I'll go back briefly to find it. Hopefully the entire place won't have respawned. 
Move it. Damn newcomers. Oh, cultists. Damn newcomers. Just so that I can take a look at that wall, all right? Hey, knock it off. What's your problem? Mr. Andy says, what about I pay for you to Denmark and back home uh, for when you from money? It's not a problem for me, friend. I'm from serious, no joke friend. Uh, well, it's not about money. I mean, I can afford my own ticket to Denmark. It's about time. I, in order for my channel to function, I have to be here. It's not a business that I can leave and it continues to make money. I have to physically be here in this room cranking out content and doing live streams in order to turn a, turn a revenue. So um, I don't really have the opportunity or time to make a lot of trips. But it's an extremely generous offer, and I am grateful. Thank you very much. Okay, I'll do what you said. Basement, turn right, right hand wall. No shotgun ammo. Melina Richards says, Oxron, if you and your family could vacation anywhere in the world, where would you go? Uh, well, my wife and I have always dreamed about going and uh, visiting Ireland and the British Isles because we've never been and That's right, they've all respawned. Great. I've never been, and uh, we've never been, and we both have uh, family that came from there long ago. So it'd be good to visit there. I personally have always wanted to go to Greece. Ever since I studied Greece in college, I've wanted to visit Greece for the longest time, and my wife is interested because I'm interested. So Greece would be fun. There are a lot of places. I studied... Uh, Swedish in college as well. So there are, are a number of places in Sweden that I want to visit. There's a lot I want to do. I, I'd, I'd love to travel more. Oh, for crying out loud! Man, 
It's like a teleporting demon. <laughs> ah. Chimney crickets. Okay, basement. I'm not going to spend too much time here. Basement and turn right. Into the next room, then turn right. You're right! Where is it? Oh! You're so right, thank you! Man, you really got to explore every wall in this game. There it is. Obed Marsh Diary, the 21st of March, 1856. How, how much time did I waste turning this house upside down? New South Wales. On that day, we arrived near Ball's Pyramid, a giant rock about 2,000 feet high extending from the sea. The air is uh, poisoned all around us, and you can barely see the tip of the monolith. The catch is good here and brought us more gold. I had to give them two slave women we bought in Sumatra? Wretches were terrified when they saw them. Good riddance. We landed on Lord Howe Island a few nautical miles away for fresh water and fruit. The Heti Dingy was put at sea at 8.15 a.m. Last time we were here in 1847, there were three settlers and their aboriginal wives. This time, only the women remained and they were not the same, tattooed. Their eyes were red with blood, and dead animal carcasses were strewn about the map. They slept on the floor beside the corpses. We drank and danced with them, and one played a strange musical flute with sounds we had never heard before. One of them took me to her hut while I was at it between her legs. Thank you for that clarification in the dark. Wonderful. We couldn't have figured that out on our own. Uh, Matthews came with a torch, and I could see that above me the dead husband was hooked to the roof. The skin over his face dried like a hundred-year-old apple. Bones and clothes he was, his mouth open and distorted in an endless shout. I can still see his eyes alive and rolling, looking at me. The witch was laughing hard while wiping her thighs. All her teeth filled, filed to a point like a wolf or a shark. We fled this cursed place, leaving the witches behind. Holy cow. Obed Marsh. Wow. A dance with the witches. Okay. Texas Patterson says, come to Sweden. I'll set you up with cigars. I would love to. I really would. Someday. Someday. Okay. Three, 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 four, four, twenty-eight. Man, I'm low on shoddy. Oh, oh, but I can make battle rifle because all that cordite. I need more gunpowder and shell casings for my shotgun. Well, thank goodness. We got it done. Let's mark this one off on our map. And move on to the next. We're almost done. Two, three more for this side quest. Looks like the next one is over here in cover side. So uh, we'll take, we'll take that. Run away. Keep running. David Norrell says, use the site by the altar with the candles. Okay. I keep trying to go, but they keep bringing me back.
Nothing. David says, sorry, sorry about it. <laughs> hey, we're, we're Fallout players. That's what we do. We explore and check every possibility, right? All right, there we go. Mr. Andy says, Anytime, Ox, you're my hero for life. Like I say, money is not a problem. I'm your biggest fan on YouTube. And before you look out today, can you take a look at my YouTube today? Mr. Randy, Cord Conrad's in vivo. Yeah, I remember you telling me about that earlier. I'm still doing my live stream, but later today I'll take a look. Um, thank you very much. All right, what's the next one? Lone Child. The visions are testing me, playing with my mind. My old forgotten fears come to life. When I was small, I was afraid to stay alone. I thought my parents would leave and never come back. Today, I went to the eastern streets of Coverside and the visions came on the corner of St. Elmo Lane and Kingsport Street. I felt I was alone, forgotten in a locked room, hungry and frightened. It was so scary to stay inside, but everything was much worse behind the door. Something scratched in the corridor, and there were terrifying screams from outside. I could not run, could not hide. I just waited for Mom to return. Melina says, if you do ki uh, get to come to the UK, Oxhorn, I think you would love to take... I love the Lake District. It's one of England's largest national parks. It's very, very beautiful. Well, I mean, I'll definitely put that on my list for when I go. Uh, I do love exploring parks. Lake District. All right, I'll keep that in mind. Now... What is this? Lone Child, Eastern Coverside, corner of St. Elmo's Lane and Kingsport Street. So that's in the wet.
There's the symbol we've been looking for. Oh, what a jip. One gunpowder? A little toy horse. Cool. It's just gonna pop right out of the floor, I know it. It's gonna pop right out underneath me. No warning. A book! Boat, a toy horse, a train, there's the note. Before I loot that note, I know something bad's gonna happen. So before I loot that note, let's loot up. Lots of flowers. Can you see all these flowers? Oh man, they're really jipping me on the containers here. Here we go. FM. I do not know where mommy and daddy went. Mommy kissed me on the forehead and handed me Mr. Teddy and left so many days ago. I'm all by myself and Mr. Teddy and I are so cold and wet. If you have blankets, I would be so happy. If you are a nice people and you find this note, I live in a brown house with lots of flowers, but they are wet and sad now. My name is Timmy and if you help me, we can be the best of friends. Just please no more monsters. I'm all red and sticky. Pressing, man! Gosh! Come on, frog wares! <laughs> it's, uh, it's not cool. Icky Nico says, uh, Cthulhu Mythos fans, check out the band Darkest of the Hillside Thickets. They'd be a great background music to play the game by. Good to know. Okay, well, uh, looks like the beasts all left after eating Timmy. Of course, I say that now, they're going to spawn as soon as I go downstairs. Wow, nothing here, yeah. Just that one note. No enemies. Oh, wow. Looks like his father was a clans member. Ugh. Right, well, I think that leaves one to go. One more, no, two more, two more, two more. I was getting excited for a minute there. Uh, all right, uh, what's easier? Go up to Alamo Street. Come on. They just, they made that hard to navigate on purpose. Elmo's. Right. Old Grove South. <clears throat> Brett says, I remember you saying you have a Nintendo Switch for the kids. You should get Stardew Valley on it for them. 
It has local multiplayer. Um, I'll look into it. I don't know if it's uh, good for their age yet. I mean, if the games are too complicated, I often find myself having to help uh, help them play the game. Which I'm fine with and I enjoy, but I want to make sure that whatever games we get are good for their ages. There's uh, five and seven right now. Is Stardew Valley good for five and seven year olds? Southern Old Grove, Warwick Street between Seaside Street and Hillside Street. Warwick between Seaside and Hillside. So on the other side of the road. Okay, so that's Seaside. It's on Warwick. Between Seaside and Hillside. Could it be up here? They were hiding it right back. Oh, come on. Uh, Mr. Andy says, uh, Ox, why are you, are you not on Fallout or Fallout 76? Uh, I play a variety of games here on the channel. I played a lot of Fallout 76 yesterday. Uh, but today, I am playing a different game. like to keep things different on the channel. Variety, you know, as they say, the spice of life and all that.
Here's the note. AP. It's extraordinary, incredible, fabulous. I was right. I told them we weren't alone, that the ocean was talking to me, and now that it's flooding in, the ocean brings them with him. All these buffoons who would laugh behind my back, they now fear these wonders. At the sight of these magnificent specimens, they run in all directions, screaming. They do not realize the incredible chance they have to admire them, to contemplate their splendor. I need to get closer to these creatures, closer, always closer. I will finally be recognized for my talent. One of these creatures might even carry my name. Ooh. I will be praised by all the universities. They can't ignore me now. They'll stop thinking I'm mad. Oh, joy. Oh, joy. What pleasure. Come see me. I await your arrival. I will take good care of you. Yeah! <laughs> One li a last little shudder there. Okay, so this researcher... Wait a minute, was that the last one? Yeah. Letters in Oakmont. Completely done. Hooey! Man. That was a lengthy, a lengthy side quest there. But we did it. So they came from the flooded basement.
So it looks like our boy here was dissecting them and keeping them in cages. And feeding them. What, people? Mr. Andy says, for be more serious, Ox, I cannot sleep tonight. Well, I, I, I tried to add a little bit of levity to my broadcasts um, and not take things too seriously. <clears throat> That's the strategy. A. Austin with a tip. Thank you, A. Austin. Well, my shotgun, three shells left. Okay. Bingo. Let's pick a new one. Let's see. Uh, side quests. Well, how about field research, eh? Have I marked these locations on the map? I have. The former patient's shop, home of the infected man. The man who died and turned into a monstrous creature lived in Northern Salvation Harbor on Moreland Road between Higgs Lane and Benevolent Tides Road. Dr. Grant from Oakmont City Hospital asked me to find out what happened there. Dr. Grant asked me to visit a shop in Salvation Harbor. On okay, let's do this one first. That appears to be closest. Home of the infected man. And it's right next to a fast travel location. So, let's get to it. Anonymous tip, thank you very much. Northern Salvation Harbor, Moreland Road, between Higgs Lane and Benevolent Tides. Higgs Lane, Benevolent Tides. So it's right here in the wet. So, there it is. At least I think it is. Yep. What is that? That's a new piece of graffiti. Haven't seen that before. Ooh. What? Probably don't want to touch it, huh? Talk 
on it. <laughs> it was just a phantom. <laughs> Every kid's childhood dream. I wanted a toy like that too once. Mr. Andy says, okay, Ox, I cannot sleep for my biggest fan is on my TV. Yeah, that is you, Ox. For I'm my love to see you anytime best on Fallout Power. Serious, you have always sig never give her up for what you do seriously. I, that's, that's the motto I have lived with for as long as I've been on YouTube. And that's the motto I intend to embody forthwith from here on out. So I'm sorry that I'm keeping you up. I know you're tired. Sleep, my friend. Denmark is in a completely different time zone. But you know what? If you can't sleep, you know what? There's no better spot for you to be. You're in good company. Liz's secret book. Bad dreams again. The thing under the floor keeps scratching. I told mom, but she said it were rats. Dad told off John for playing with slimes near the hole. But it wasn't him. I told dad about the thing who lives in the basement and he punished me too. Tonight, I saw the head looking from the hole and cried. What the heck? Who are these people living with a hole in their floor that leads to water below? I would cover that up first thing. <laughs> oh, no. It comes at night and wants to do bad things to me and John. Why don't mom and dad believe me? I was so tired from not sleeping that I couldn't watch the hole. And today, I feel so bad. My belly hurts. My mouth tastes like slimes. Mom and John say they feel bad too, even now I hear it scratching. Oh, this just took a very hideous turn. Ugh. Melina Richards says, watch out for dead babies in cradles. Yeah, okay. Oh, I do suddenly feel nauseous. Coffin! Two coffins! Oh no. Are these the kids? Let's loot them! Oh, I legit suddenly feel nauseous after reading that. Dog gun up frog wares. Why you gotta be so dark? stinks even worse than the bodies. Got an ooze sample. Okay, we've got a lady's hat, a lady's shoe, um, a, a lady's dress. The footprints. Footprints. A man's hat. Footprints leading over here. Weeks have passed since this food was cooked. Are those worms? Yeah, there's something wiggling in that food. Oh, 
that was the daughter. No matter how bad I feel, I have to go to work. Why can't you understand that? They're all sick. He leaves for work. Wife and the two kids clutching their stomachs in agony. Time to figure this out. Why was this one in the water? Oh. Oh, that was a monster crawling out. Okay. So, the kids were in bed. There's the two children, the daughter, the son. There's the wife. These are the monsters infecting them. Husband is infected too, but he has to work, so he leaves his family alone. No matter how bad I feel, I have to go to work. Why can't you understand that? While he's gone, the whole family succumbs to their diseases and spawn into these monsters. This! John! You. Oh, what is. Happened to me. The beast crawled from the sunken basement at night and infected the family. After a short incubation period, they turned into monsters too. Well, that's awful. Zartu says, hey, Oxhorn, just cut off work. Can't monitor the chat while I'm driving, but we'll do what I can. My friend, focus on driving. That's all I care about. I'm just glad that, uh, that you're off work and you're having a good time, but focus on driving. Okay, so that one's done. Now we need to go to the former patient's shop. We need to take that fast travel marker so it's back up north. Excuse me, pardon me. Coming through. Okay, Willem Street. Extra, extra. All the news that's fit to print. Okay. So we're looking for the shop. Men's finest clothing. David is probably really upset that I'm not at full health right now. Yep, yeah, there he's <laughs> half health, he says. Heal on up. Had to find his comment. Thank you, David. You look, you take such good care of me. You look out for my health. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right. Oh, 
great. A music box. Oh! I know there's another one. Okay. Creepy music box. Seems after visiting Dr. Grant, the shop owner preferred to self-medicate. Those blood stains would definitely attract wild beasts. Shop owner's notes. The dreams returned again, even stronger than before. I feel those things touching me, crawling, leaning towards my warmth. The doctor is a Dane, obsessed with his theories, but who can help me? I'm losing my mind. Today I woke up and one of the creatures was under my blanket. I smashed it on the floor and stopped until it stopped moving. But... It was no more a, a dream. It was real. Neither coffee nor cocanium worked to stay awake. Kay, help me. Twice I have almost fallen asleep and they appeared again. I know it wants me to go downstairs, but I got to loot. I don't think he's going to tell me much about those monsters. Is that your um, professional deduction there? Suicide note. Can't bear to stay awake any longer. Can't let them take me there. Every time I see them in a dream, they appear near me, touching me with their cold hands. Sting me with those tails. There's only one way to end this suffering. Kay, forgive me. all these body parts. What 
What's that new noise? Got to get out of there, man. Dog gun ink clouds. Seems after visiting Dr. Grant, the shop owner preferred to self medicate. Okay, I didn't get all evidence collected, I got key evidence collected. Those blood stains would definitely attract wild beasts. So what am I missing? Hospital response. The disturbing dreams you complained about may be the result of the Helminth infestation. Your description of the creatures you see and feel while sleeping is reminiscent of some parasitic forms of life. I recommend you follow the recipe below to prepare an ointment of my own devising. This should ease your symptoms and help you get rid of any and all parasites. Got it. <clears throat> Mr. Andy says, hey, Oxhorn. Will you be a good hero to see my YouTube CL today? Will you be a friend, never back down? You have say on Fallout 4 and 76, never back down. Thank you. I will never back down. And as I have said now for the third time, I will indeed visit your YouTube channel after I finish this broadcast. All right? Cool. Okay, we can move that off. Okay, so I need to go back to the Oakmont Hospital. Which is there. No, that's Hospital of St. Mary. But that might be the only hospital. I think it is the only hospital. Okay. Okay, so I'm just now reading that while I was looking at all of those dismembered body parts, the chat was having a field day. 
Melina Richards says, Oxhorn, he's just hanging around. Wow, someone give him a hand. I've heard you can be legless after a good night out, but that's taking things too far. Ox needs to leg it out of there. Oh my gosh. Back to the hospital. something you like. Cheaper than the rest. I called into the shop of your patient. Unfortunately, he committed suicide. Oh, I wish I could say I was surprised. Sorry for wasting your time. It wasn't entirely a waste. I found some evidence that sheds light on the origin of those creatures. Uh, for what it's worth, Professor Westerbrook calls them Stygian Harvesters. But uh, what is it you found? Your patient's diary. His dreams became too real, too confronting. He tried to stay awake using stimulants, but... Those Stygians appeared near him when he slept, as if they were leaking from his nightmares. Hmm, a psychic phenomenon, or manifestation. How unnerving. I'm afraid he's not the only one suffering from such dreams. I checked the house of the diseased man, Bells. His family has turned into those creatures, too. Huh. Fascinating. Did you discover the source of the contamination? A creature emerged from their sunken basement and transformed them. I think its vomit is contagious. Hmm. If so, we must quarantine it. Those Lethian revenants are a huge threat. This city could not survive an epidemic like that. What did you call them? Uh, Lethian revenants. Oh, you may thank the university professor for the beast's unwieldy names. I found your studies rather interesting, Dr. Grant. Got more places to search? What dedication. Thank you. Your findings have been a rich resource for the scientific cause. I've got two more places for you. More dangerous, one with huge monstrosities, but I'll prepare a comparable reward. Better be a gun. Just what am I getting myself into? One of Oakmont's largest stores was closed after the flood hit. A looter tried to break in, but his thievery was, shall we say, interrupted. He was set upon by a huge wild beast and hardly made it out. The question is, with the building locked up tight, how did that creature get in? Oh, what about the place with more manageable creatures? Well, there's a restaurant here with a bad reputation, not for its food, but for women disappearing. The police found nothing. I treated the partner of one missing girl. He arrived here severely injured and told me about the jumping maws. He was at the restaurant too, I suppose. Indeed. And what's curious is the place is still open. Please investigate and find out how that's possible. Bye. Okay. Wow. Wester Book Brooks Guide Page 2. We got a lot of stuff here. Let's check out lore. Hospice response, got that. Westerbrook's guide. Oh, this is interesting. Research on Oakmont's post-flood fauna by Professor E. Westerbrook, Oakmont University, Part 1, Stygians. Locals brought me several kinds of creatures, saying they just appeared in their homes. The exemplars have multiple limbs with human-like palms. They are resistant to poisons and acids. Only one breed. The Stygian Harvester it is aggressive. It has a claw-like stinger that can cause grievous wounds. The rarest breed of Stygians is the Smoker. It emits huge amounts of fumes, then lurks amongst them. Well, we found a bunch of them in the last house. But I am fascinated by Stygian Weaver. Somehow it can restore tissues of other wild beasts. Then there's this one. Part two, Le Lethians. The Lethians forms, re forms resemble humans. After numerous autopsies, I can state with confidence that there are multiple pathogens which cause these mutations in human victims. 
Their bulb-like colonies act like additional hearts, ensuring the flow of lymphatic liquids filled with bacteria. The fluid is gathered in the former human stomach and may then be expelled by the Lethians with an immense force. The less studied immortals have rapid regeneration, and I have received reports about wraiths that disappear. Deep One's Gold? Is that what I found? A rarity? In that one uh, hole in the wall? I must have found coin. The Deep One's Gold. All right. Back to field research. We've got two new locations. Dr. Grant asked me to investigate an ill-famed restaurant located on Eastern Reed Heights on Willow Lane between Herald Street and Bullock Street. Reed Heights. Willow Lane. Willow Lane, Harold and Bullock. Eastern, I'm looking at Western. Eastern, Reed Heights, Harold, Willow Lane, Harold and, okay, on Willow Lane between Harold and Bullock. I'm guessing Bullock is up here. Bullock. So here. Then the locked shop. Dr. Grant asked me to check the shop on Ward Street in Western Reed Heights. Between Bourbon and Sam, a looter tried to shoplift there and was attacked by a huge wild beast. I have to find out how it could have appeared in the locked building. Okay. Western Reed Heights. Bourbon and Sam. Bourbon. Sam. Ward Street. Okay. Well, let's go to this one first. And to do that, we need to go to this Advent North. Cole says, do you think Graham is a reference to Joshua Graham? I would like to see more of that reference to Fallout 1 or 2 in New Vegas. That's why I was like, in Fallout 4, they only talked about the Brotherhood. I don't think Graham in 76 is a reference to Joshua Graham. All they share in common is the name. And that's not enough to go by. Um, that said... Fallout 4 does have many references to the other earlier Fallout games, uh, like Fallout Tactics, for example. They reference what happened in um, Fallout Tactics by mentioning the Zeppelins that went down in Chicago. Okay, let's go to the cafe first. I think that's supposed to be the easier one of the two. Strange spot for a restaurant.
Eastern Reed Heights, Willow Lane, between Herald Street and Bullock Street. Okay, this is Bullock Street. It's the building with the red awning. It says Somni, okay. Yeah, you're right. I'm just blind. Let's save. And I'm out. Out. Yes. Oakmont Chronicle. Staff needed. <clears throat> the Count Ugolino restaurant is preparing to reopen. Kitchen hands, dishwashers, waiters, and waitresses needed. All interested parties should come to Count Ugolino for a uni uni interview with Chief uh, Chef Armand Myers. Wow, I made a ham sandwich of that one. Formal invitation letter. Dear Mr. Throg Morton, it is my pleasure to invite you to a tasting of exclusive and exquisite dishes, which will be taking place at the Count, Count Ugolino restaurant in two weeks' time. This is a closed event, and only the most honorable guests will be in attendance. I hope you will join us. Sincerely yours, A. Myers, Chef. <sighs> the door won't budge. Uh-oh. Blood on the ground. And a bloody hammer. The blood is still fresh. Looks like we're going to the basement. As soon as I drop down here, I know it. <sighs> oh, these aren't your typical kitchen utensils. Oh! <laughs> Is this what, like a bathtub stew? Well, 
I don't think the health inspector will be pleased. Really? You don't you don't say. That's you think the health inspector would disapprove of that. Oh, 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 oh yuck. Is that chopping? Recipe for human meat. Preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Take notes, everybody. Cut the flesh from the young woman's hip into four ounce pieces, then pound each one to a thickness of one third inch. Season with black pepper. On each steak, lay one slice of cheese, a few leaves of sage, and two slices of prosciutto. Roll into pinwheels. Heat the oil in a large skillet over medium high heat. Quickly brown the pinwheels on the outside. I hope my new patrons enjoy the dish. Great. <clears throat> Cole says, I'd like to see references to the ones that Obsidian and, and Interplay made. Also, as Fallout Tactics canon. Anyway, I go by what you say. You are the lore master. Love you, Ox. Thank you, Cole. I'm just a player like anyone else. I try to get things right. Um, they did make references to New Vegas and Fallout 4. They talked about Fixer, for example. And as for tactics being canon, I don't know. I think it's semi-canon. I saw a shimmering a minute ago. My esteemed patrons, <laughs> presenting my latest delicacy. Ah, don't be greedy. Don't hurry to eat, please. You'll always be my most well-regarded clients. <laughs> nice laugh. So he was feeding the wild beasts. Oh, man. Mr. Andy, con uh, Mr. Andy says, "Hey, auction. What's the biggest monster in Fallout 76?" Probably the well, the Scorch Beast Queens are huge. The Grafton monster is also very huge. The Hermit Crabs are huge. Anthropophagia. I was always sure my dishes could not be matched. Those who taste human flesh always crave for more. It is difficult to find enough meat for my patrons. They spend all their time hiding in the basement, pleading to be fed again. Today I went downstairs and saw how the patrons had changed. They love my cooking so much that their bodies have adapted to consume more. I cannot let them down. I must post new ads in the Oakmont Chronicle. My funds are running low. Guess I'll have to find a new prosperous patron to support my business. Hence the letter to Throg Morton. I use anything. Uh, 
Upstairs. Mysterious disappearances. Police have started to look into the disappearances of several young women in Advent. Witnesses said they saw the missing victims visit the Count Ugolino restaurant, but the police investigation found nothing illegal. How? How could they not? Chef Armin Myers rejects all accusations, uh, accusations of impropriety. All evidence collected. All right, one mystery down. One more to go. Okay, the next one was in Western Reed Heights. Looks like we need to fast travel to the Reed Heights South, so. We're going to Advent North. Does not want to light. There we go. David says one knowledge point made. Level up character. You are right. Thank you. What would I do without you guys? I've got three. How did I get three? Okay. One more grenade. I'm whipping through this skill tree, guys. I should, like, next stream, maybe I'll finish the entire skill tree. It's always sad when the coffee's gone. Left. Now this is supposed to be the big one, but the reward should be worth it. Move it. Deuteronomist says, you're reaping the rewards of taking XP boosts early in the game, Ox. That's right, I did get those, those uh, perks, for lack of a better word, early in the game. All right, well, let's battle rifle this thing. Ah! Gonna come down. Oh. Oh, 
Legion of Gore! Yes! <laughs> All right. Well, we're making, we're getting better. We're getting better at this. The traps did their trick. Oh, and he only triggered two of them. Uh, Mr. Randy says, hey, Ox, how much did you love a bud of brotherhood? Um, I, I have a, a rocky relationship with the brotherhood. I think the brotherhood in Fallout 3, Lion's Brotherhood, is a positive force and a positive influence in the capital wasteland. Uh, it's all reliant on Elder Lions and Sarah Lions. They're the ones who keep it good. With them gone, the Brotherhood reverts to its natural state. Its natural state being a hermetic, cult-like, quasi-religious institution that hoards technology at the expense of all those around them. Only Elder Lions really wanted to help the people of the Wasteland with Project Purity. His entire philosophy was that by helping other people, that it will make the Brotherhood stronger because more people will want to support the Brotherhood and join the Brotherhood. A very different philosophy from the Brotherhood on the West Coast, which were isolationists. They wanted to keep to themselves. Now, Elder Maxon made some great changes in by the time of Fallout 4 that he allowed other people to join. Um, it was no longer a hermetic culture, but it also became much more fascist, for lack of a better term because it was also exclusionary. It focused too much on human purity. Like, it, it was completely out of the Brotherhood's M.O. For, for the Brotherhood to go after creatures that they felt were an abomination of technology, right? The Brotherhood on the West Coast keeps to itself and hoards technology, trying to find new technology. The Brotherhood of Maxon uses that technology to purify the wasteland, which is much more in line with what the Enclave did. Uh, which, so that's that's a bit strange. Cultist letter, Neophyte. The fecund mother blesses you. Your servitude has been noticed. You will have the chance to join the inner circle and see our mother with thine own eyes. Man, you know that it's important if they use the word thine. Our brothers carry the bodies of her abandoned children. To prove yourself worthy, prepare a place where they can be hidden and forgotten forever. In return, the fecund mother will embrace you and grant you her generous, generous gifts. Oh, great. Are we going to find a graveyard in the basement? Mr. Andy says, okay, let me take a pit stop. I can take a smoke too. You bet you, my friend. Enjoy your smoke and I'll see you when you get back. Those bags stink worse than a barrel of rotten fish. Or... Fisk, whatever. I killed the big guy, right? I'm not gonna have to kill another big guy, will I? Mother's Grace. The fecund mother devours the weak flesh. The fecund mother gives new life to those consumed, a new birth in many forms. The fecund, I don't know how to pronounce that. Fecund, fecund, fecund. The fecund mother has many children and her family grows. The fecund mother is kind for anyone may be her child, but bad children are purged and left outside in the cold light. Keep the secrets of your mother and she will grant you eternity. Oh! This putrid slime is everywhere. I'll take a sample for Dr. Grant to examine.
Oh, wow. Is that it? I didn't get all evidence collected or key evidence collected. Did I? Oh, okay. Quick, bring them in before the neighbors see us. Are those the last ones? Shop owner. EOD and the bodies. I did everything you asked, yeah? So when will my initiation begin? They're dumping the bodies in the basement over there. Oh no. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Oh no. Did he get turned into like a, a multi-body creature? Holy cow. Okay, well. I think this one's easy enough. They arrive with bodies. Quick. Bring them in before the neighbors see us. Are those the last ones? They dump them into the basement. I did everything you asked, yeah? So when will my initiation begin? And his initiation is actually being transformed into a giant cadaver creature. <laughs> Members of a cult were disposing of bodies in the basement of the shop. The corpses merged together to form a huge monstrosity. Oh, or that. All evidence collected. But we still need to go upstairs for the loot. Ooh, cars. Toy shop, huh? Nothing. Okay. David says get closer to ball with faces and scan with side again. <clears throat> okay. I mean, I collected all evidence and we only have to scan something when the uh, screen gets a little wobbly. That tells us that the mind's eye is there, but I'll check. There's the one with the eyes. Nothing. And then the rest are all A, A, A. Here's another one with the eyes. Yeah, we're not getting any wiggly uh, waves on the screen, right? Or that little whistling sound in the background. That would tell us that we could use the mind sign. But we're not getting it. We've got everything here. Okay, back outside. So, back to St. Mary's.
I visited that old shop you mentioned and found a few things you may be interested in. Even took a sample for studying. What did you discover? I was sure a huge creature could not have wandered inside unnoticed. The cult of the fecund mother was dumping corpses of their victims in the shop's basement. Hmm. Professor Westerbrook's research does suggest the Acheronians are attracted to dead bodies. No. This one formed from the corpses themselves. There was a putrid slime on everything. Maybe that's the cause of this unnatural rebirth. You said you took a sample of it. But I can conduct some experiments on rats. If your theory holds true, what a marvelous discovery. I paid a visit to that awful restaurant. I'd call it a den of evil, but that would be an understatement. Good grief. What happened? <laughs> Good uh, the grief. cook was mad, a cannibal, and fed those jumping monstrosities on human flesh. He called them patrons. That restaurant was a destination for Oakmont's elite, many of whom disappeared shortly after the flood. I think we now know why. Are you suggesting that it was cannibalism that caused such a horrific transformation? These days, alas, cannibalism is not so rare. Could it be that all the Cositians, as Westerbrook calls them, were once men? We've discovered a lot of disturbing information about the wild beasts. What are you going to do with it? Well, I've already contacted the university. We'll cooperate to further study these phenomena. Hmm. Can we do both? The facts must be reported to the authorities. They need to know what they're dealing with. You're perfectly right. When we have documented our results and conducted a standard peer review process, the proper measures will be taken. <laughs> documented results, peer review. Now, how many innocents will die in the meantime? Our recommendations must be clear, and based on valid reasoning, or it's worthless. Good science takes time, my friend. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Okay, case done. Did I get the, uh... I didn't get it, did I? Nope, still don't have the submachine gun. Lots of good stuff, though. Okay, Westerbrook's Guide Part 3. Cosichians. The Cosichians also share common traits with humans. The most fascinating phenomenon is their digestive tract. The part which resembles the head is in fact their maw with extremely strong jaws. The brain-like organ and hearts are located beneath the body part I have labeled the stomach sac. The sac is the core of the digestive tract and consists of several stomachs that can generally enlarge at will. During dissection I found human bones within. The older specimens can even throw off the bone-filled stomachs and regenerate new ones. And then there's this bad boy, the Acheronians. The biggest and most dangerous of the new post-flood arrivals are the Acheronians. They can swallow a whole human body and are extremely resilient. But most importantly, their tissues respond to reanimation no matter how long they were dead. This marvelous creature can be revived by applying a proper discharges to the main neural cord located on its neck. I have hypothesized that if we were able to extract the substance from its glands, Perhaps we would hold the key to curing death itself. That's it for lore. Sweet. Next one, open house. Looks like this is going to take us to three locations, one of which is close by, but you know what? I think I'm out of time. Hold on, did I get a knowledge point? No, I didn't get a knowledge point. All right, I am out of time. We're gonna save here.
So we completed two side quests this live stream. We have a, quite a few more to go, but I think some of the larger side quests we've completed. So we should be able to whip through these side quests pretty quickly uh, to resume the main story. And then hopefully we can get our submachine gun. By then, maybe we'll have maxed out our skill tree, which is exciting news. That's it for live streams this week, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Andy says, good night, Ox, love you. To know when you are looking on my YouTube on Mr. Andy, Vivo, have good day, Ox, and also you guys. Thank you, Mr. Andy, for coming to the live stream, and I will be sure to check it out. Um, that's it for live streams this week. I'm working on lore videos for the weekend. Probably going to get a Fallout 2 video done, and if I do, I might get a Fallout 76 video done. Otherwise, I'll see you Monday morning for my next live stream at 10 o'clock a.m. Pacific Time for the end of Dishonored 2. After we complete the game, we'll move on to Death of the Outsider. Then Thursday, 7 o'clock p.m. Pacific Time, we'll have Scotch and Smoke Rings, where we'll likely finish Bioshock 2 and then move on to Minerva's Den. We'll pick up here with The Sinking City a week from today, Friday at 10 o'clock a.m. Pacific time. So I hope you'll all join me then. Thank you all very much for joining me this live stream. Have a wonderful rest of your Friday. Be kind to absolutely everybody, and I'll see you all very soon with more new lore videos and more live streams. Have a good one.